it was it was pretty. I, you know, when the bad weather happened, I was actually hoping it would rain a little bit more, so you get him in some bad weather situations too. But no, it was it was nice to see him. You know, there was some things he's still got to work on. You know, that first punt that kind of landed on the ground, bounced a little bit. Like to see him maybe get that ball fielded. Other than that, you, know, you see what he can do with the ball in his hand. So right now, it comes down to him making the right decisions, being at the right depth, fielding the ball cleanly. Because once he has it in his hands and takes care of the ball, he obviously is a dangerous weapon for sure. Darren, another guy who had a big night on Friday night was Mike Hall. What does he do well on special teams? You know, Mike's got a really high football IQ. You know, I, it's funny. My daughter uh, just just started up at Penn State, and I was there last summer speaking to their coaches, and they couldn't say enough superlatives about this guy. They really loved him as a, just as a leader. He was their captain, and really they spoke a lot about his football IQ. So last year when I had, we had him in camp, I started to notice that. And, you know, some of the plays he made is really just having a really a feel for the game. He's a guy that's a hustler. He's going to give you every bit of his soul on every play, and you see him hustling down the field. But he showed some athleticism. He showed some real instincts. And uh, on a couple of the tackles, he's really just having a great feel for coverage and being in the, in the proper sp spot. And it sound, maybe sounds like a really an elementary fundamental thing, but it really takes a feel for it. And over this course of the last year, uh, he's become a, you know, a really a guy that's really starting to understand that, that aspect of the game, the coverage aspect.